They came here to Duke Street St. Helens in the mid-80s, not to see a film, but to make one about a local artist and personality known as the Egg and Sausage Artist, who was to feature in an American television program about eccentrics. Well, I've always wanted to become famous, and I was a portrait painter, but uh, I didn't seem to get anywhere. And I decided one day I'd just have a blank canvas and just paint an egg in the middle. And I put that in my window, and everybody came to see it, and that's how things progressed. Just painting eggs on blank canvases, and then it materialised into sausages, and then eggs and sausages, and so on and so forth. And I seem to have made just a little bit of a dent here in St Helens. My husband uh, is a very talented artist, and um, he painted for many years. And we have we've managed to fact get this shop in the YMCA buildings, which had huge windows in it, um, and he did a lot of portraits portraits of the mayors that were at that time and even one of Prince Charles and lots of lovely landscapes and people just didn't look at them he used to have them in the window and there was only odd ones who'd look at them and he got really frustrated about this and one day he suddenly had this idea and um, he painted just one egg in the middle of a huge blank canvas and um, Everybody started looking, and the, the, after that, he just went on painting eggs, and then they led on to eggs and sausages and various other things. And he had crowds round the window all the time, and this went on for some years. Um, and then he decided not to sell them for money, but for food. Um, I, I didn't believe anybody would actually do this, but the first day he had them in for a um, couple of pounds of bacon, uh, a lady came just after nine o'clock in the morning with her bacon. Uh, then they were bringing chickens and uh, eggs and sausages, all sorts of things. And they seemed really happy to bargain and barter with them. Uh, he also went on to um, sell them for kisses and tickles. And this was quite funny, really, because the ladies really wanted these paintings, but it took an awful lot of effort to come in. Sometimes it was for 20 kisses and 10 tickles. But the whole thing was that at the end of the day, my husband didn't actually receive the kisses and tickles. He told them that they'd been brave enough to come in so they could have the painting for nothing. So they went away very happy, having come in shaking like a leaf. Uh, eventually, it, the pressure with me having a Christian bookshop was a bit too much because the paintings, some of them were very suggestive. And uh, my husband stopped painting the eggs and sausages. I won't be doing any more eggs and sausages now. Uh, I'm completely occupied helping my wife here in the Christian bookshop and uh, working and trying to promote God and his son here in St Allen's. Hey, thank you very much for coming to visit the Christian bookshop here in Duke Street and filming me, the egg and sausage artist. It gives me a great thrill because I've always wanted to become famous and be outstanding like such artists as Rembrandt and Michelangelo uh, to be remembered here in St Helens. And uh, as I say, thank you very much. While Sheila continues her business at the Christian Bookshop in Duke Street, Graham has moved to his new business premises, the religious shop just doors away. Both shops, selling similar commodities, continue to serve the same God and community, working hand in glove with one another. Hand in glove is a phrase that's ever on the minds of